If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, I'm here, welcome back to another 6 o'clock content and today I've already had a look, uh, normally I like to be surprised but today I started a bit later than I uh, than I would like to have done and I took a look to see what it was, there's only one player that they've dropped, there's no flashback or anything like that, it is a headliner card which is really good so there is a chance for this to go up, it is of course Chris Smalling, now he should already be, what's his inform, is it 84? I think he's got an 84 rated inform. He should already have two informs. But EA, I don't know why. Uh, but we don't know why EA do a lot of things that they do. Yeah, he should already be 85 anyway. So this headliner card theoretically should be 86. But it's not. However, um, they didn't give him an inform when he deserved to get one. We all thought he was going to get some sort of stupid special card ages ago. And they just didn't. But now he has this. Now, six foot four, high defensive work rate. 3-star weak foot, which is, is good enough in my opinion. It would be awesome if it was better, but it's not the end of the world. On the face value of that card, it doesn't look amazing in terms of the composure. The reactions aren't great. The acceleration will let him down. However, I'm not going to be negative about this because it is a fantastic card. I love it. I think his stamina is just about right. If you obviously play a deep line, which I'm sure most people do, you'll be fine. Jumping, you won't really need to care about. A, he's six foot four, and B, no one crosses these days. Great strength, great aggression. Defensive stats are just ridiculous. And, of course, he does have that 82 sprint speed. The 67 acceleration isn't terrible, by the way. If you give him, I don't know, just an anchor, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that chem style, but if you were to give him an anchor, you'd have just enough. Uh, you'd, you'd tip him over the edge of being, like, not not usable. That's the wrong word. He's usable as he is. Uh, I, I, just good, I guess. Um I really like that card, and to cap it off, I don't think it's that expensive. Uh, I, I think it's it's very well priced. Um, one English player, one team of the week, 83 rated team, and 80 chemistry. The downside of only having one requirement is, of course, you get no packs back for it. You literally just get small in, and that's it. I am going to complete this, because yesterday I said to you that I'm only going to complete those that I find to be useful to me personally. Oh, they've changed Navas's face. I'm only going to complete those that I find to be useful to me personally, right? Now, he is useful to me because I'm I'm, I'm going to start using this account a lot more. I, d I don't really use it at all now, but I, I feel like he would come in handy. Um, I don't know what we're going to need in terms of the rating. 83, what informs do we have? We've got Jack Grealish. We can use him. Packed him about 20 times last week. We'll do that. We'll pop him over there. We shouldn't really need much more in the way of rating now. We've got an eight, we've got two eighty fours and an eighty five. We should be able to get away with a lot of eighty threes. So what do we have? We've got Pickford. I'll use as, as many Premier League players as I can just to get the chemistry on this side. Um, I say that, and now I've run out. I will tell you what I'll do. I'll use Akabi or Asabi. I'll use Rugani. Get rid of Pickford. I'll see if I've got like a Sirigu or something. Uh, I've got Consigli. That could be it. That could be the play. Left back, we have Luke Shaw. Over in the midfield area, I've got... Eh, I mean, I've... I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go back. I'll pop Ramsey in there. just want to give a little bit of chemistry. Ruben Neves could be could be okay. We'll go back into the defense. We'll see what we've got for right back. Just just whack Bender in there. Uh, we, we do need chemistry, but... Uh, well, I mean, we only need eight more chem. If we can get 10 chem player in here, I mean, theoretically, if I put Dembele in there, that is it. But I don't really want to be using Dembele. Um, that's an 82 rated team. Okay, let's go to right mids. I mean, to be fair, I think I've done this a lot quicker than I thought I was going to do. Uh, I've got... That's an 83 rated team with 80 chemistry. That could be it. Yeah, that's it. That's job done. I'm going to see if I can maybe get away with putting an 83 instead of an 84. No, I can't. Can I get away with putting anything instead of... Do you know what? I don't care. I'm all right with it. That's I, I'm happy to give that up for Chris Smalling, if I'm honest. I don't really remember having any of those players in there anyway. I knew I had Jack Grealish and Aspas, and apart from that, I didn't know about it anyway. So there we go. That is Chris Smalling's headliner done. Like I said, he should already be... Well, he should already have a second inform, but the fact that that's been boosted to an 85 is a little bit of justice because obviously that's what he should be anyway. The good thing about it is Roma are a side that um, that I think are, are good enough to to go on and maybe even win four games in a row.
depends on what their fixture list looks like over the next couple of weeks. I think they've got one quite tricky game. I, th I think it's against uh, Leipzig, maybe, possibly. Uh, although they're currently losing to Union Berlin, as I say that. But he's a good player, and he's a regular player for, for Roma. So I think he's uh, very likely to get himself an upgrade over the next uh, couple of weeks, definitely. Um, don't be put off by that composure. I, I think it's a good enough card. Expect a review of this tomorrow. I will definitely get that review out tomorrow. I've been lack slacking, rather, on the reviews, and I will, uh, I will turn that around. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go and complete very briefly... Uh, I'm going to do this headliner challenge. This is a new one for... Wait, is that a new one for today? Did they drop a new one for today or was that from yesterday? I think that was from yesterday, wasn't it? I don't think they've dropped a new headliner challenge. Um, I think I complete... Wait, no, 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 no. This is a new one. Yesterday... Yeah, I've just completed yesterday. So I've got that to open. So this is a new one, but it's untradeable. So what they want for this is a 74 rated team with 75 chem, uh, 2 gold, 7 rare... That's quite demanding for an untradeable pack, but uh, we'll see. see what this is all about now, and I'll get rid of this. I'll finish marquee matchups, and then we'll have a little pack opening to end the video. I've actually decided I'm not going to do this. This is uh, a lot more difficult than you think it would be, because it says players from the same nation max one, which means you have to have um, 11 different nations in this, and it's an untradeable pack, and you have to have seven raids. I just... I can't justify that. I don't think that's worth it at all. I mean, if you've got, like, a bunch of bronzes from whatever league that you don't care about that you can use, then, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I say bunch of bronzes. It needs to be 74 rated overall, so you might need to throw a few golds in there to sort of lift it up, but I'm not even going to try it. I don't even... I, well, I said that. I did. I went to fill it in, and I was like, hang on, this is just too complicated and too difficult for me to do without buying players. And I, it's un If it was tradable and it was, like, a 50k pack or something, yeah, I'd be all over it, but... Or even a 25k pack, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be doing it. This is gonna lag when opening. That's why I opened the silver. Oh no, it didn't. Hey, that's nice, smooth. But um, yeah, Chris Smalling, uh, currently coming in at. Let me refresh Footpin just to get a, an idea, because obviously we didn't really spend any coins. It's currently coming in around 30k. I mean, I think that's worth it because that's pretty much what it would be on the market. Maybe a little bit less, but as an SBC and a dynamic card, I think that's definitely worth the punt. Like I said, he, he should already have two informs this year, so the fact that um, you've got a chance now for, for 30k, you've got a chance for, obviously, him to get a special card, and then he gets upgraded. Obviously, you've got a chance for Roma to win four in a row, and he gets upgraded, and that goes all the way till Team of the Season. Obviously, it doesn't include Team of the Season, but it does go up until Team of the Season. So, that's, um, that's pretty decent, if you ask me. I'm a big fan of that. I think that's a great SBC. Uh, the the pack, on the other hand, I mean, it will probably cost you between 5 and 8k, depending on what you have and what you're willing to spend and all the rest of it. But for me, I just think for an untradeable pack, I can't be bothered, if I'm honest. That's what it boils down to. I just couldn't be bothered to sit there and work it out. We're going to get a board here. It's uh, an informed walkout. Would you believe it? Uh... Oh, the... Dubrav Dubravka? I'm going to say I'm going to say that wrong. No, it is. It's Dubravka. I forgot his name for a second. That's not bad, though. 85 rated inform. I mean, I know we didn't get that back for Smalling, but in that little session of marquee matchups, and I think that's the, um, the headliner challenge pack from yesterday, that is essentially what we uh, what we put into Smalling. I mean, an 85 rated inform back for the 84, so that's paid for that. I mean, there we go. He's, he's worth about 20k. So we only need to make 10k back again. That's another 3 or 4k there for, for him. We've more or less made our money back on Smalling just from opening these couple of packs. I'm not saying everyone's going to have the same luck. Of course you're not. But yeah, I'm very happy that I've done him now. I definitely think that's worth it. It'd be good if we had um, maybe another objective player to work towards. I'm a big fan of the um, the Borussia Mönchengladbach player. No way. We've just packed Tierney. That's the first time I've packed him. Ever, I think. I know a lot of people struggle to pack him. I don't know if he's. I don't think he's worth anything. But uh, I've I've opened a lot of packs this year, and I don't ever remember packing him. So there we go. Happy days. Um, yeah, I, I like the um, the Gladback player. I really do. But it would be really nice if we had someone else in there as well. So if you didn't want him or couldn't use him or don't care about him, maybe you could go for someone different instead. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get a board here, which is a, a bit of a shame. But we do get Voland, who I'm sure will come in handy for something at some point. 
I would also like the rest of the leagues. I genuinely don't understand why when... Oh, I forgot these transfer players are in packs. I've not been looking. Some of them are worth big money. Um, yeah, I don't understand why we've not been given the rest of the leagues. You know, we are end of well mid to end of January now. And we are still waiting on the Scottish League, on the Japanese League, on the Mexican League. And I'm sure there's a couple of other leagues I'm forgetting as well. And for, for whatever reason, EA are just holding them back. Just release them all. Let us be able to rinse League SBCs. That's all we want to do. The final pack and the final action of today's video is going to be a rare Electrum. Can we get a board? Don't deserve one, but I'd like one. Can we get one? No, we can't. Of course we can't. But uh, we did get informed Dubravka, which... Uh, Essentially paid for the majority of it. I would say it paid for about 33% of, uh, sorry, 66% of Chris Smalling. And then uh, Bern Bernadeschi on top. And as well as what we've packed here as well, that Paderborn left mid could be worth a bit. Eh, not really. No, he's not worth anything. That's a shame. I, all the Paderborn players I packed, they're the ones that are not worth anything. It's, it's always the same. Is that a transferred player? No, don't think so. Never mind. Is what it is. Let me know in the comments whether you think Chris Smalling is worth it. I personally do. I think it's a banging SBC. Uh, and let me know if you've done it as well. If you have enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.